Hello everyone, good time of the day. How are you today? It's quite cold in London, um, but it was nice and lovely weather. And I hope you are doing well. As you remember, if you joined us before, uh, we were drawing uh, the previous week, we were drawing everything about 2020. We were remembering the good moments of uh, 2020. Uh, we were remembering also not so good no moments and letting them go. And we were thankful and grateful to everyone who has been with us in 2020 and who helped us in one way or another. <laughs> and um, also we... I actually will show you the drawings. That will be easier. So uh, yesterday we were drawing... Uh, our different levels, um, how we felt by the end of 2020. So we felt spiritual, physical, emotions, and mental. So this all, this is like a snowman, but it's with like abstract spiritual snowman. Uh, then here we were doing the uh, habits and behaviors in 2020. So we were like focusing on what kind of behaviors did we nurture in, in this year, and what what did we get in this year then. Uh, then we were drawing also the helpers of 2020 and uh, then we had a uh, we we were analyzing the 2020 with the help of uh, uh, this uh, snowflake and then we had the star as well uh, where we looked at our achievements in uh, this year which is almost finished and uh, we were saying goodbye to all the negative and we were focusing also what positive we can take. And we're going to use today this drawing. If you haven't done it yet, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You can get the recording. You know, just go to the uh, description in this video uh, above and uh, you will see how you can get the recording. It's for free. And then you can draw this. But it's fine. Even if you haven't done it, you can still uh, do the today's class. So imagine that um, it, when we were drawing, so the idea was that all the goodness, everything what was positive in this year, I know it sometimes might be challenging, uh, but um, still there was something positive this year as well. So everything which was positive, like we were taking it and uh, it was going up and so it's saturated here, uh, like in the middle of the candle and it's light, uh, its uh, warmth was um, helping us uh, in the future. So today we're gonna draw the snowball. Imagine how the snowball is like, um, not the snowball which you're <laughs> falling, but like you, the snowball with, with which you um, turn around and make the wishes. I don't have it here with me uh, physically, but I'm sure you know how the snowball uh, looks. Uh, if you don't know, uh, you can uh, google it, but in the meanwhile let's start drawing. But before we start, uh, please let me know where you're from uh, which parts of the world are connected today in this video. Even if you're watching this in a recording, I will be glad to hear from you. Uh, so let me know where you're from and uh, prepare the paper. Uh, I suggest today you take the paper A4, uh, just because we are, we are going to draw the wishes and I'm sure uh, you have quite a few wishes uh, for 2021. So I suggest you take the bigger size. Uh, take the pens, pencils, and some liner, something thinner, like that. Um, like that. <laughs> See, I'm not a beauty blogger, so <laughs> I'm not used to that. And um, I can do like this. You can see that. That's perfect. That's actually better for us. And today I have these two lights. I don't know why. I mean, um, the lighting doesn't change. It's the same, always the same lighting. But sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. Um, so it's... Um, let's say it's spiritual goodness going <laughs> to us and um, uh, the last but not least um, yeah you take also the pencils or you have the markers uh, whatever you have and uh, yes please tell me where you're from who is drawing with me today uh, it will be great to hear and uh, this is just a reminder, this is our first of the three drawings uh, for planning 2020. And today it's more like a spiritual, it's more, uh, we were going to draw the wishes. Uh, we're not going to do the planning, goal setting and etc. First we need to figure out what kind of wishes we have for this year. Okay. So, and as usual, 
uh, if you're prepared, you have your pencils, you have everything, you have your water. Uh, if you don't have it yet, please take it now. And we will start drawing soon. Okay, so everyone is ready. So, first of all, we will take uh, the paper, as usual, the big post-it note or something else separate, or you can take the uh, other side of your normal paper. And we're going to start uh, with two minutes. In two minutes, we're going to write at least 20 words or even more. And obviously, the focus will be the wishes for 2020. What do we wish in this year? And please be as crazy as possible. Today, we are not setting the goals. Today, we are just sending the wishes. And before we start, I want to tell you something um, beautiful that happened to me today. You know, um, I was thinking about one object. Um, I'm not going to name it. I'm not going to name the person, but uh, um, something nice that happened to me today. And um, I was thinking about one um, object which I wanted and um, um, because of the COVID everything is closed, shops are closed, so I, I, I couldn't really buy it and online it's not the type of the thing which I would buy online and then um, because you need to try it on and uh, like you, you re I really need to feel the touch and so like I don't like sending back and forth so with the online shop. So uh, today um, I saw a friend and um, uh, she asked me, oh, would you like this? I was like, oh, I um, said, so, well, let's see. Um, I mean, and she gave me, she had it, she never used it, it was brand new. And uh, she gave it to me and it was like, but the thing which which is on me is like, in my mind it was like that I wanted this, this thing. But because of the shops closed, because of many um, issues and reasons, I I wasn't buying it and I wasn't even thinking about it because it's not like the priority at the moment. I mean, it's a... And, uh, and then uh, she just um, she just had it and gave it to me. And I was like, okay, that, that's interesting how the world works. Like, you might wish for something and it has, it will sit on, on back of your mind. And then um, you might get it in some unexpected way at all. Like I was actually planning to buy it when I go uh, back home to Latvia because there are quite a few shops for, for this type of thing. But uh, I didn't go and my flight was cancelled. Um, and so I was thinking, okay, like, well, whenever it happens, maybe I'll buy it in London when the shops will be open because now it's, everything is closed. And then it just happened like that. So. You know, um, today we're going to do the wishes, which um, something what you don't expect, like not something what you plan and you go when you you act on it, but uh, just your dreams, whatever you can dream of, even the, the most crazy ones. This wasn't the crazy one. This was just like something in the back of my mind, but wasn't my priority at the moment. Um, so you can write anything. So let's get ready. You have your papers. Uh, first, we write the topic, so I'll show you. So we said the topic is the dreams, uh, which will come true, dreams to come true in 2021. Okay, we have our topic. And now I'm going to put two minutes. And in two minutes, uh, you will have to write at least 20 words okay perfect so let's start i put my timer and is that ready there we go you can dream of anything and now i'm gonna talk i'm gonna concentrate on my dreams okay Thank you. 
We have 28 seconds left. Okay, and let's put pens down now. Um, <laughs> it's funny, I had to stop my timer, but instead of it, I'm trying to stop the video. <laughs> you see how much I was into my wishes and uh, I wasn't, my mind was already there. And uh, we can count the words, but uh, even if you have less than 20, but they're very strong words, that's completely fine. So I think I might have even less. One, two, three. I have 24 and I'm sure it's not yet everything but we can start drawing and uh, while drawing uh, we will um, figure out a little bit the rest okay so remember the candle remember this flame the flame of uh, positiveness which is getting to us so this flame sort of goes into the drawing it, it brings the positivity now here so we start drawing the base of our snowball. So snowball which makes the wishes come true. So we drew the circle first. And now we're gonna do the bases. It's like an oval. Yeah. So now we feel it. We, we've, we've done this basis and we, we now fill it, we, we fill the paper and we imagine that all this positivity from 2020, all what we wanted to take, we, we are taking it and moving into this paper, okay? Uh, you can, in, in theory, you can put the paper here and uh, continue the lines, actually I can do that. Um, I'll do it right now so you, I can see here lines and I'll just continue them. And this way we add the all the positivity which we wanted to take and remember to focus on our body what does our body feel what does our mind feel so we add it here and we do it before we start putting down the wishes and uh, so that our paper where we start working it's already very positive if you don't have it if you haven't done this drawing, that's completely fine. You can just uh, uh, think about the positive moments of 2020 and draw the lines. That's, uh, that's, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. So we have that. And I'll just add the slides a little lower. So that they're coming from our candle. And we're breathing. Yeah, it's so nice. Okay. So let's just go around again our uh, circle, our snowball and our bases uh, in neurographical way. So we use the neurographical line and I repeat the neurographical line is a line which does not repeat itself on any part of its journey. Okay. So we've done with the ball and now we do with the bases as well. So we make it more neurographical, we make it more connectable to our neurons in our mind. And if you want to do once more, you can do it once again. And the same with the circle. So it becomes more magical, but I mean I say magical, but nothing in neurographic is magical. It's very practical. We connect, we make the new neuropaths, we make the new ways of uh, connecting. <clears throat> and now we're looking at our dreams which we wrote. And looking at the strips, we start drawing them on the paper. For example, one of my dreams was um, it's that everything is good with my health. As I had some issues this year. I mean, actually, those issues were long term, not just this year. 
So interesting that this circle wanted to get out, but that's fine. Um, that's normal. We just drew the neurographical line, but try to, to sit inside. I don't know why my first circle got out of it, and uh, yeah, it's interesting. Maybe it's already coming through, that's why it's there. <laughs> okay, so another one I wanted to travel to new countries where I haven't been yet. I've been to quite a few countries, I think 46 or so in total. Um, but there are many, many more left, and so I want to travel more. And I hope that in this year it will be possible. And as you can see, I add more neurographic lines. So, and I can write down here. Um, so, and the dream, you can dream about particular country, that's even better. Uh, the, the more specific the dream, the better chance for it to uh, uh, to realize. So I would say to visit new five countries. To visit five countries. I haven't been. I write it in the way that I remember it. You can also put the number and you can put the number on the list. So that's another way how to do it. Uh, but I prefer to write it here just in case. And um, then I have some other personal wishes, which maybe let's not share here publicly. Um, and it's actually the best for wishes not to be shared. So I think uh, because they're wishes, they're like quite sacral. So um, yeah, let's. I gave you two examples, and now we can just continue drawing. So the idea is that this is a ball, like this is a snowball, and inside there is a, a small. Uh, you know, you can shake it, and we shake it with the, with the help of neural lines. And now, currently, what we're doing, we are drawing, drawing our dreams and wishes for 2021. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. So, this was one. So, and you can see there are some wishes which are connected, and you meant like it's women might, might be like that. So, um, if one wish comes true, then maybe another one comes true, or like one cannot be without another one, or you don't want them to be separate. So, you can also connect them. But please remember whenever we connect something, um, we try to. Well, we don't try, we actually do. Uh, we do the rounding. I uh, currently haven't done the rounding of all lines. What we're doing now, we're just putting all the wishes. And then after we put them, then we uh, start adding the lines, okay? And I rem remind to everyone who joined us that we are drawing today the wishes for 2021. And this is a snowball to have wishes to come true. And this energy which comes from here, this is the energy from 2020. So this is a positive energy from 2020. I put these pluses. <laughs> and it goes into the, here. And this is a basis. So the 2020 positive energy is the basis of our snowball of wishes. Uh, for 2021 and by the way if you try to cross your legs please don't do that um, <laughs> I have to actually think about a lot of times that I should not cross my legs and um, yeah we need to become legs should stand straight 
Uh, remember breathing. Remember monitoring what you feel in your body. Uh, what you feel in terms of uh, your body, what kind of emotions you feel. Uh, what do you feel uh, in terms of your thoughts and also in terms of your spirit. So there's four levels which we monitor in neurographic. Interesting. I feel like the fact that it goes outside means maybe they, this wish is already somewhere in my area, somewhere nearby. I don't know yet where. By the way, if you have friends who think who you think might be benefit from this video, also feel free to share it. It will be um, online and Facebook for 24 hours, but then if you want to get the recording, uh, you can get recording for free. How to do that uh, is mentioned in in the description. Okay, so we continue adding more wishes into our. Uh, ball and think about also something crazy and something small something light not all wishes have to be huge um, like what I had today what happened to me it was like a relatively it's not a huge wish it's not like a very big but um, it was nice so I think it's good to have a balance of different wishes big ones and small ones Think about what do you want to do and maybe new car or new iPhone or I don't know, bicycle nowadays is very popular. <laughs> And remember, we have also the competition. Uh, we are sharing the drawings. You can share them in our group, The World of Neurographica. And then we will choose uh, the winner uh, after we finish all the these lessons. And then the winner will get a, a prize from The World of Neurographica. Well, the prize is secret at the moment, but it is quite a good prize. I mean, I'm sure you, you want to draw your dreams not for the sake of price, you want to do it for yourself, but you can also share the, your drawing and and you can win something. And by the way, tomorrow and on Wednesday we do two classes also regarding our 2021, but there we will do more planning, we will do it based on like um, a neuro timeline algorithms and uh, so you can try how the neuro timeline works and if you like it you can do the course we start in January the new course in neuro timeline so please feel free to to join uh, more information is uh, in the Facebook also in Instagram in Instagram you can find us as the world of neurographica feel free to sign to join sign up as we publish some uh, interesting information there as well. And in the new year, we'll have more uh, information, free information on your graphic on different aspects of it. And uh, I'm sure you will enjoy it. 
So I'm thinking just a bit more what's left. So, hmm. <laughs> I have very interesting, like very small wish, but it's very sweet one. Let's see if it comes through. I want like new markers, new highlights of pens, but like good quality, beautiful ones. I have many. Uh, please understand me correctly. And uh, it's not something which I can't buy, but it's just like I want to find those, ones, those ones. I have some quite a good ones, but you know, they tend to finish, <laughs> especially if you draw every day. So that's my little wish, maybe. Somehow it will come true. It did come true last year. I got a gift, um, actually quite a few gifts because people know that I like drawing, so they... Um, I started um my pencils are finishing uh I got the new ones but uh the new ones are not exactly as um, I wanted them to be uh so that's fine so as you can see I have some big ones small ones and I would suggest you add also something else just maybe some more circles you don't know yet what they are and you'll figure out later but it's better to have more than this no? <laughs> so we are not limiting in your graphic we're usually drawing uh, uh, nine plus minus or oh, seven plus minus two objects but because these are the wishes we can have as many wishes as we want so that's completely fine mm -hmm. so just add a couple of more where we want them to be maybe while Doing the rounding, you will you will figure out what they are, and uh, you know. And by the way, if you uh, like this video, uh, feel free to like it. <laughs> and um, yeah, and you can see our previous videos. Last week we were doing seven lessons on letting go uh, of 2020. Uh, so feel free to watch them as well. How uh, you can watch the recordings. Uh, just reading descriptions, everything is written there. And it's very easy and it's free. So you can do that. Oh, I can't like my ball. I think I'm going to add my lines here as well. So the basis is also stable. So this is our wish ball for 2021. And you know what I want to do? I want to also incorporate the letters to zero zero. Uh, two one somehow so this will be two and this will be my zero and then I need another two so I think this will be another two okay two two and then I need one so one will be like this and you see I incorporated that so I know this is 2021 it's not like people have to see it. Uh, you, the fact that you see it and you know it, that it's inside there, that's the most important. Uh, wishes is not something which we need to tell other people about. Wishes is something like you just keep it for yourself. And actually, unlike the goals, you don't need to remember about them. You just wish them and let them go, let them fly like the balloon. And it will come true one way or another. It will come true in the best way possible, in the best time, time possible. That's what we like to do. The goals and goal setting, we will do the, in the next few days, tomorrow and the after tomorrow. So don't worry about that. Uh, I'm not just saying to you that, oh, like, um, you don't need to do anything. No, but wishes is something what you let, uh, let fly. And then we will talk about the goals and how we can achieve goals and how we can set the goals. Okay? So... So we are, now we have quite a few lines. If you have any questions, if something is not clear uh, and you want to ask, this is a good time to do it. Please feel free to ask me. I'll just have a quick break. I'll have some more tea. Write to me where you're from. 
and um, how was um, if you've done the previous program how was it um, did you like them or um, how how did you feel about drawing um, anything uh, any realizations and even if you don't want to share with us just ask these questions to yourself okay and I really like my snowball <laughs> I really like how it became uh, so I think uh, what we'll do now, we'll do some uh, rounding. Rounding is also conjoining, is when two lines intersect with each other, then we um, we conjoin them. Uh, conjoining is ma like making all the angles round. How we do that, if you don't know, you can watch in the previous videos. Last week I've been explaining this a lot, especially in the first few videos, especially uh, spend some time like showing how we do rounding in neurographic. And now we just breathe. And by the way, if you haven't done yet the basic course of neurographic and you want to learn the basics of it, uh, you can do it because we have a special uh, New Year promo 50% uh, discount. And I will, uh, after the lesson, I, will, I can also post it in, in the comments below, so you don't need to look for it. But um, if you want to find it now, you would just go into the group, The World of Neurographic, and you'll find it there. So what we're doing now, we're doing the conjoining or rounding. And we remember breathing, and remember to um, think about what does your body feel, what does your mind feel. Uh, my body, I feel belly in my body. My mind, my mind is quite free and joyful. Like it's it's running like a, a little child and jumping, and uh, yeah, it's it's quite fun. Uh, maybe because I had a good day today, and uh, I cycled, I walked, I talked. Yeah, it was very nice. Uh, very interesting and after we finish conjoining then we will do the archetyping or adding the color and as I said if you like you can join our uh, competition competition for the drawing we'll choose uh, the drawing in the end of this uh, neuro ride and um, the winner will get a prize the prize from the world of neurographica and um, it will not be the competition for the most beautiful drawing but uh, we will see how the drawing mostly reflects to what we are saying how how we're drawing but the drawing actually incorporates all what we are teaching um, it can be the drawing from any lessons you had so uh, feel free to to add as many drawings as you want the more drawings obviously the more chances you have to win and please publish them in the world of neurographic or you can send them directly to me like and uh, we add the more lines because the more lines the better because the lines help us to to connect our wishes to the environment to the universe it's not like the golden fish will come and it will make your <laughs> your dream come true. No, but there are people around this. Um, there are cases when some people act randomly might make them come true. I have some friends who gave me gifts unexpectedly without any reasons, without any uh, any presents, and I've done the same. Like so, it's not just about oh me receiving, but also me giving. So whenever you can, maybe if you can make someone someone's dream wish came true please do that like you you will benefit from it as well don't worry and think about what are your thoughts what comes to mind So, 
think what you're feeling. We talked about body. We talked about emotions. Now, what 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 kind of thoughts come to you about the wishes? Like, you no, know, I feel like universe, God cares about me, and I'm sure things will happen in the best time, in the best place. And um, yeah, I think I'm quite happy with my wish ball, <laughs> snowball wish ball. It's quite beautiful and growing and all this energy is going for that and hey if you just join now i'll just tell you we are drawing the uh, snowball you know the ones which you shake and uh, we put there all our wishes so that for 2021 so that they can come true and if you have any questions so if you have any comments please post them um, underneath this video i will be happy uh, to answer and uh, just say hi just tell me where are you from uh, or if you just like this video and you want to stay comment or you don't want to talk and that's fine just you can also like this video feel free to do that as well and share it with your friends I'm sure they will say thank you to you especially if this friends like drawing or they like um, making sure that their wishes can draw <laughs> And uh, no, I'm not the wizard, I'm not the Harry Potter, <laughs> neither am I Santa Claus, but I'm sure we can do something about it. So interesting, what, do you have any practices, do you do any, um, maybe you have the board, you know, like the wish board, uh, where you put the pictures, but nowadays with modern technology, I'm not sure whether people do this mood board or like a, oh, it's not really mood board it's like a wish board where you put the pictures you cut them out and then you put them on uh, and you look at them and then they come true they have done mine several times i don't think it really works for me but uh, i've done neurographic last year in january um and i must admit everything what i've written there did come true. I wasn't very specific and I didn't have too many wishes, but they did come true and I, not exactly maybe in the way how I expected them to come true, but they were there actually in the time even which I expected. So we're gonna do next two days, uh, we're gonna draw the, the timeline and um, incorporate how we want to see uh, the next year. And we'll breathe in and breathe out. What we are doing now, we are doing the rounding. So all the angles which we need to round, we are rounding them. And as a reminder, we take the energy from 2020 and we positive energy only <laughs> uh, as we draw in the in the candle. So this candle is connected here, and we take this energy and it goes for the 2021. And here in our ball, we have the 2021 incorporated. We draw these numbers. Now nobody knows because you can't see them, but we know about them. Our mind knows about that, so that's the most important. So tell me where you're from. Uh, I'm currently in London, UK. We had a quite a beautiful weather today. It was actually quite cold, but still nice. And what about you, where, where you are? I know you're drawing, but it's not that difficult to type as well. Mm. Okay. So now, after we finish the rounding everything, I mean, I'm, I try to round it as much as possible, but there's still probably something which I haven't drawn it, and uh, I'll do it later. Um, I suggest if you're new to neurographic, you do try to round everything. Don't leave any 
sharp angles just round or conjoin everything and now we, we're going to move to archetyping archetyping and adding the color is adding the color or coloring so we add by the color we add more energy we make our drawing more lively but before we start doing that i'm gonna pause and i'll wait in case if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask now If you don't, and then let's start with the coloring piece of my drawing. So, put my camera so it's nice. about your wishes which you made and then maybe add the color based on how this color works for that wish if you've done um, neural color if you know how the colors work in neurographica then you can use that knowledge if you don't know that yet you can just be creative and do according to your intuition uh, we do the neural color course in March if you want to sign up early, you could do that using the special price and uh, you can send a direct message if you want more details about that. When I started coloring, I started feeling my belly. What part of your body do you feel actually now? And remember, neurographica when we do the coloring, we usually color more than one cell we don't add just one cell but even here like in the circle it's not one cell we have a one two three four five more than five elements here inside even though it's one circle how do you do the drawing do you usually put some music or not I'm actually not, we are not allowed, like, because this video is recording and it's public uh, domain, we can't put any um, music um, which is not, uh, which we haven't paid basically for. So I can't put any radio station or anything, even so, like, while we were drawing some snowman or snowball, frozen music might be <laughs> quite appropriate, but we cannot do that, uh, which is completely fine because then we can't share this video which uh, I think you will miss so so this is like it's going from 2020 going up this energy this beautiful energy I'm using my watercolor pencils I'll add afterwards the watercolor with my special eyes here. What do you like to use um, to to add the color? What kind of um, instrument do you use? Uh, I know, for example, Lana likes pastel. Um, I've got one, mine. I'm not really keen on those. I prefer my watercolor pencil. So my pastel and highlighter pens but it also depends on what I'm drawing and how I'm drawing and by the way when you add the color uh, you don't need to add it everywhere you can leave there some places blank you can add in some more spaces it's not just the circles which we need to add color you can add it anywhere 
and you can go outside the borders. We have no borders here. So. Oh, and we breathe in and do that. Now I actually started feeling hot. And um, yeah. Today we have a very silent lesson. Usually people write the comments, often we have the conversation. Today is like no one is writing anything. Probably everyone is so focused on the wishes and they want them to come true. <laughs> ah, that's fine. For those who joined, we are drawing now the snowball with the wishes for 2021. And this is the energy which we're taking from 2020, positive energy, because we already left behind the negative one uh, in the previous drawings which we did. So this is the positive energy. We want to plan more for the next year um, in terms of planning, in terms of goal setting. Uh, we can do it, to, we will do it tomorrow. Uh, and uh, we're going to use Neuro Timeline algorithm to plan 2021. And then later on, we'll have also the course in Neuro Timeline. So you can join it in uh, January. Or if you're watching this later on, you can also see the recording. I mean, you can purchase the recording of the courses. And we breathe in and breathe out. What does your body say to you? What, what do you feel in your body? Which kind of parts? I feel like tummy. It's a bit like talking to me. No bubbles, no <laughs> blurbing, just talking somehow. I don't know. I just feel it. Which part of your, which part of your body do you feel? Um, do you feel warm or cold? Which is a couple of seconds ago I felt really hot. Now I just feel warm. I don't feel hot anymore. It's interesting how how quickly it changes. Oof. By the way, if you want. Uh, some your dreams to come well not just your dreams if you have any question or if you want to learn something and um, if you want to work through some of your topic uh, we started already last year well this year and we're going to continue in 21 we said uh, the coaching uh, Wednesdays where we do the group coaching so you can be as observer, um, obviously with the help of Neurographic, and you can be the observer or you can uh, also come with your question and print, um, and we will work it through. And obviously you can also do uh, with myself and Lana the coaching, which is uh, just one-on-one. -on -one. If you are not comfortable to, to have it as a group coaching, to share it with others, then that's also possible. If, if you want to join one of our sessions, just let me know in, a, uh, in the comments below via private message. By the way, if you use Instagram, 
we are also on Instagram now and our uh, hashtag well not hashtag but whatever its name <laughs> the contact name is uh, the world just world of neurographicum you can write it down and then uh, you will find us we just started there but uh, soon we're gonna do some small free videos if if you want to learn more of the basics of neurographic uh, we will publish them there as well I quite like the colors of my drawing it's, it's getting beautiful Oof. I'm breathing and breathe out remember breathing and uh, what kind of emotions do you feel now mm. I feel quite excited. I really like my drawing. Mm, surprised how colors are choosing where they want to be. Not all, not all colors I'm thinking when I'm putting. I'm just sometimes taking the color and putting there without uh, much thought, more using my intuition. I'm using the watercolor pencils, but you can use anything what you like. I, I like it for this particular drawing because it can blend quite well together. So after we finish with the coloring, then the next step would be the adding the field lines and then uh, archetype um, and then fixation. And by the way, if you're watching this video and you like what we're doing now, um, you can always like it. <laughs> and uh, you can also share it with your friends. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, you can write them in the comments or you can uh, just send me a direct message. But comments is better because I can see comments while I'm drawing, uh, whereas if you send me a direct message, I will see it after we finish drawing. Mm, that's a beautiful one. Really, really nice. Actually, I'm not sure I want to add too much color. I think I will leave it a bit more airy with white color. I might add color in the bushes which I know what what's gonna be what are this kind of bushes what I want them You can see I have a lot of yellow warm colors. Breathe in and breathe out.
If you just joined, I'll tell you we are drawing today uh, the snowball. It's a magical snowball which helps all our dreams to come true. Well, the magic <laughs> in the, is in, not in the fact that we are doing something uh, magical with it, but with the fact that we are drawing. And while drawing, uh, the neurons connect and make a new neural pass in our mind, in our brain. And in this way, we, we will create biological situations which will help. Uh, the dreams to come true. Um, so today is not about your actions, today is about just setting chances for the dreams to come true. And first the chances is actually to um, to draw them. Uh, because in order to dream to realize, you first need to actually dream. <laughs> you need to have the dream. Because if you do not have the dream, you cannot realize. So it's important to know what you want. It's important to uh, to strive and go towards it. Mm, I'm thinking, do I want to do it fixation today? Or do I want to leave it open and let the new universe or the God uh, to help me that? Mm, I'm still thinking. I have quite a few wishes, I'm not sure what I want to narrow it down. Breathe in and breathe out. Interesting, my shoulder starting feeling. I start feeling like a bit of ache in my shoulder. Unusual. Well, not unusual actually. <laughs> it happens to me quite often when I was drawing. Now I started feeling a bit nausea. That's a strange, interesting. Maybe I, my dream is too big. <laughs> or maybe my body it tries to adjust to it, to accept it. Because sometimes when we have dreams that are too big, like, um, we need also to make space, allow our bodies to um, to accept them. Because we might want, I don't know, billion dollars, but um, our our mind, our habits don't allow this to happen. Um, most likely, if you don't have even the million at the moment then the billion might be a bit too much uh, straight away. So, I really like my drawing. And I really don't want to add too much color. It's already very colorful, but um, I feel like I want to add color to the uh, circles which have the names. Mm, maybe, uh, maybe some of them, not all of them. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
people calling when <laughs> I even stopped it and it's not stopping. Uh, sorry. Like the sound is off, but still calling. <laughs> So these are the dreams, these are the wishes. You can add the color intuitively, and that's what I've been doing so far. And um, it is important for you to like what you're doing. Um, actually, in graphic is important to like the process and to um, to go through the process. You might, because this is like the nice topic. You're not working through your problems, so you should not have too many side effects and stuff like this. When you work through problems, there might be some. Uh, times when you like when your body tries to, to say no <laughs> actually here it could be also could happen to you if like if your dreams are too big uh, which is very big comparing to where you are now and so the body wants to protect you because it wants to adjust it needs time to um, get through and uh, writing down the wishes is actually a good way to get used to your crazy dreams um, until before they realize so that you are prepared sometimes you know what happens with the lottery winners when they get a big jackpot or something they usually don't keep this money for too long because they don't know how to handle it so while drawing the wishes while thinking about them while going through that and you can go in your head in more detail what exactly you want how you want how you want it to see like I don't know if I was here I was telling you about the marker so I can tell you like what kind of company I want or of pencils what what a color pencils I want how I want them to feel whether I want them square or whether I want them round shape how uh, which colors are important for me which colors are less important to me so like go into much more detail as much as you can and um, this also will help the, the details you are the more chances is that you will get what you want rather than you will get something similar. And we breathe in and breathe out. Oof. like my um, coloring is coming to an end and uh, archetyping also called it a neurograph and soon we'll be able to start with the field lines the field lines are the lines which connect whole drawing uh, with you un which unite whole drawing I'm not so sure what I want to do today the uh, not the field lines but the lines of fixation maybe not we'll see so if you have any questions now feel free to ask me and uh, I will go further so we were drawing the base uh, this is the base of our ball this uh, this is the energy which positive energy which come from 2020 and this is our uh, the ball of wishes uh, the snow ball of wishes and um, uh, yeah, we added the color, and now what we do, we will do the field lines and we unite the drawing. The field lines are the lines which go from left to right, from bottom to up, and you can usually we, we try to go the field line according to one of the lines which we already have. Mm.
very well. If you created new angles with the command, you do the rounding. A little bit to round it. And we can, I remember what you've done in terms of how, how does your body feel now? So this is one, one, one <laughs> this is one of my fingers, but there will be more. Which one I want to do it. Maybe a couple, three. And you see here the two lines uh, intersect with each other, so we we do the conjoining, and one other we can create a new angles. So we do conjoining as well. Uh -huh. And now maybe I want to add one more line. Actually, I want this line to continue from here. This is very important wish, so I want it to be touched by the fill line. And it goes like this. And we breathe in and we breathe out. So is something not clear? If you have any questions, feel free to ask now. I'm quite happy with the fill lines. Like fill lines, we, they're thicker than the normal lines. I use a brush pen. You can use a thicker marker, uh, but the, like I like how they are in the drawing. They are strong, but at the same time they're subtle, so they don't too much dominate the drawing, but they're united. So I have my three lines. Uh, do I want to do the fixation? Maybe yes, because um, when I look at my drawing like this. When I look at it from top, that's fine, but when I look like this, I think quite a few accents are here in the bottom, so I want the focus to be here in the circle, so what I'll do, I'll do the fixation of it. And again, the fixation I do with the fill lines. Oh, sorry, not with the fill lines, but with the thicker uh, liner, pen, marker, whatever you use. And in the way that the fixation is the part which you see first when you look at the drawing. And again, if you created more angles, you need to run them up. So now let's check with the text. So now when you look at this drawing, you can see the first thing which comes to you is this circle of the bottom line. So that is quite good. I quite like it. Uh, just do some last bits. So we almost finished here today. And uh, now is the last chance for you to ask any questions, to say hi, uh, to tell me where you're from, <laughs> which parts of the world we're, we're drawing today uh, together. And also to like, you can like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, you're more than welcome to join tomorrow. We'll be happy to see you. Uh, tomorrow we we start with the goal setting for 2021. So it will be a less uh, dreamy, more practical. And uh, yeah, it will be... Tomorrow will be goal setting for more actions to do. And if today we were like having the dreams and we let them go, we let them fly, we let them go, we connected them to the environment, to the universe, then tomorrow is going to be the different step. Okay. So, I think we can finish here. Um, thank you, Christina. Thank you for joining. You are now regular here with us in uh, this neural right. So this is my drawing. Um, I hope you enjoyed today. I hope you had a good time. And uh, yes, I'm glad you had a good time. I had a lovely time as well. And I uh, hope to see you all tomorrow. As I said, tomorrow we're going to do the uh, more practical way. Uh, tomorrow we're going to... I can't see myself. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna draw uh, the goals for 2021, uh, including um, more, in more like setting up the time scale. We will use the neuro timeline. So if you want to find out about the algorithm of neuro timeline, um, you can do it tomorrow and on Wednesday. And also we will have the new course in neuro timeline starting in January. And also we will have the new course. Well. The new course we already had it is a specialist course so if you have basics of neurographic you can join the specialist course if you don't have the basis of basics of neurographic of course uh, then uh, until the first of january you have a special 50 percent discount and i'll post in the comments uh, so you can get it if you want okay and uh, that's all for me from me for today you have a great rest of the day wherever you are and see you tomorrow bye, -bye.